Ready. Ready. Let's do it. All right, well, every mixed martial arts round begins on the feet, and Justin Gaethje has no problem with that. He is an outstanding striker and truly one of the more violent men or women on this roster, top to bottom. Your favorite fighter's favorite fighter, ready to go here in the early portions of this round. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. That leg kick lands with so much force. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, man. My chance starting to see some swelling upstairs now. He's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and no shots leads to your face start as well. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, that's a big connection for Justin Gaethje and really just loves being in that octagon. I'm not sure anybody loves fight night as much as Gaethje. People don't enjoy being in someone's face, getting punched and landing punches as much as Justin Gaethje. He's right where he wants to be. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, big elbow. Oh, my goodness, what a kick. That was a nice play. Well, you don't see that every day. Lands a huge strike, and the follow-up shot is not another punch. It's talking smack. If I'm the opponent, I want to bust it right now. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one, so he continues to slow his opponent down, and a nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Nice kick there by Pimbler. He loaded up there on that high kick. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues. Oh! Oh, you gotta start to look to finish him now. Oh, nice kick. Thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent change the complexion of this one. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Oh, no! Power shots landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. So the swelling at this point appears to be critical. UFC President Dana White to our left looks concerned. What's the way through it? I mean, the time is now to pull the ball. I don't think anyone would have a problem with saying tonight's just not his night. Sure, he's tough. We don't want to see a guy's toughness on display to this level to try to stay in the Oh, he is hurting for certain. Oh, put the foot on the head. Flying on ball. It takes so much courage. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that. In oh, look at that. He leapt up and landed the diving punch to the head. Gaethje gets back up here. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you. You can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Ooh, he's setting up another submission now. What a tight arm bar. Ooh, somehow he gets out. Great submission defense by this man. It looked like he was done. Punishing kick there.
shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight was going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. All right, so we hit the end of the round, and the fighter quickly makes his way back to the stool. The cut man hustles in to apply some end swell. This swelling has gotten out of control. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two is on the way. Strike landed pretty cleanly there. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, game. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Well, that swelling is getting out of control to that end. You see the referee has paused the action, likely to call on the doctor. We'll see if this fight can continue, champ. Well, it's so noticeable. You got to check on it. You got to make sure that this fighter is able to continue. Nope, That's not, it. Nope, not, not able to let it. That's the right call. That eye was essentially closed. You can't compete with one eye unless you're Michael Bisping, and uh, <laughs> that's the end of the fight. And not everybody's Michael Bisping. Not everybody's that tough. Not everybody's that durable. But this guy could not see. He had one eye, and it was only going to get worse for him. All right, well, you see the referee wave off the fight, courtesy of those doctor's orders. Let's check out the, some of the replays that caused the damage, champ. I mean, great, great striking by this guy, finding a weakness and then really exposing his opponent's weakness. This damage was so great. The swelling was so great. Once the referee called in the doctor to take a look, he knew what he had to do. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO, Justin, the highlight, Gaethje. All right, how good is that? Not sure where Dana White and Hunter Campbell are, but you got to think a $50,000 bonus check is coming his way after he gets a huge knockout tonight in front of a big crowd. Huge knockout for this kickboxer. He knew that in the matchup, if he could force this guy to take bad shots, he would find his openings. Once he got his opening, boom. He was able to land the shot that got him to stop his victory. 